What do you think accounts for the paucity of the number of interceptor missiles? Well, I think that the Israelis know that the interceptors have a near zero chance of actually hitting anything. And because the intercept probability is so low, you don't want to fire 20 or 30 or 40 interceptors on the chance, on the chance you'll hit something. Because it makes no difference when you have all these warheads coming in, in terms of the outcome. So why would you expend all these interceptors when they could be used? In fact, you will need them when the drones and the cruise missiles are used to attack Israel, which is another phase of this combat. So there's no point for Israel to decide go or no go on what to use. And if they felt like it would just be a waste of interceptors not to fire at all. And yet, I guess we we did see a couple. So apparently some were sent off. Do you have any uh, supposition of why they may have done these handful? They are, of course, under some pressure to claim that they're making intercepts. Mm. You know, they, the, the Iron Dome has been falsely presented as having an 80%, I want to, eight zero percent intercept rate. Uh, I don't think you, this this video in front of the audience now should provide a convincing evidence that they're intercepting 80% of these warheads. In fact, it, the evidence is zero in this particular video. 